welcome students in the last video we had seen two validators namely required field validator as well as we had seen our range validator also and when we are putting a value properly then the registration has been successful see it is between 70 and 25 but the end points also been considered 70 is also considered and 25 is also been considered now in this video we will try to work with the next validator which is named as you were uh, maybe a compare validator now for compare validator let's try to work out with the validation here i am interested in adding one label for the compare validator and uh, maybe add given a family income So family income is what my label and a text box should be accepting the family income. I want the value user can provide or user don't provide. It is not compulsory to provide the value. If it is not compulsory to provide the value, then you don't add the required field validator. If you want the value must be provided, then please add the required field validator. Now family income, I need it must be above 1 lakh. It must be above 1 lakh. 1 lakh ke below na nahi chahi. 1 lakh bhi nahi. 1 lakh 1 bhi chalega mochi. But it must be above 1 lakh. If this is what the consideration is, then the range validator will not be used. Because the range validator is what expecting the minimum value and the maximum value. So, at this situation, we will be using the validator named as compare validator. So, here it comes. I am implementing the compare validator. First thing, control to validate. So here I am using the control to validate as text box 3. The next one is error message. I had given a message as must be above 1 lakh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Barabar ho gaya na? Chalo, 5 zeros ho gaya. Right? So error message has been displayed. You can make a display at static and dynamic whenever you are using the multiple validation controls. But it is better to keep all the displays as dynamic so that unnecessarily the space will not be consumed. Now moving ahead, in a compare validator, we had seen control to validate. Please look at this property, control to validate. There is one more property is there called as control to compare. We are not utilizing control to compare right now. We are using the control to validate. Moving ahead, which operator you are using? Greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to. I am interested in using greater than. Another very important property is there. That is type. The type has to be either double or, okay, I am using it as currency. Because this is related with the rupees. Moving ahead, value to compare is one more important property. So it is 1 lakh, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. So what is the logic behind it? The control is been validated named as text box 3. The error message is displayed if the values are not appropriate. It must be above 1 lakh. So if you provide the value, then it's okay. If you don't provide the value, then the required field will be checking it. But we have not implemented the required field. So if suppose the user provides the value, then this compared to validate will be checked. If the user is not providing the value, then the compare validator will not make it compulsory to accept the values. The operator is one important property. A type is another important property. And value to compare is another important property which has been added. So these are what the validation controls which are being added. So what we added is over here as a compare validator in which the properties which are used by me, they are controlled to validate. Error message, operator, type, and value to compare. Many other properties are there. You can definitely try to utilize those properties. So to check it, I just run the page. And let's see our compare validator works properly or not. Now other, other validators, I will try to make them successful. So here I'm providing the name. So I'd entered the name. I'd entered the age. Maybe entered the age 23. And a family income I'd made at 80,000. And you can find it must be above 1 lakh. I make it 8 lakh. No issues. The registration is successful. So this is the way by which you can implement your compare validator. Now compare validators can work in two forms. One is 
control to validate and value to compare. Currently, we had used the concept as control to validate and value to compare. Similarly, the validation can also work with control to validate and control to compare. So, either combination of control to validate and value to compare, okay, control to validate and value to compare, or you can use control to validate and control to compare, any one option out of it. So, now I am interested in looking at how this second option works, which is control to validate and control to compare. So, for that reason, what I am doing, I am expecting that user should be entering the password and the password should be re-entered. User must be entering the password and the password must be re-entered and both the password need to be same. If both the passwords are not same, then the error message should be displayed at password and re-enter passwords are not same. So for doing it, I am just entering one label over here for the password as well as I am interested in adding one more label over here as re-enter password and moving ahead interested in adding two text boxes one text box for a password and second text box for the re-entered password here i am interested in specifying the text mode not as a single line but as password similarly for this text box also we are mentioning our text mode not as a single line but as password so that whatever i am typing that should not be visible to you i want password and re-entered password must be provided so if the password and re-entered password must be provided then you know that we require to implement the required field validator first so here i am implementing the required field validator with the error message as star for this control also i am providing the error message over here, sorry, I by mistake it executed the application. I would like to set up the properties. F4 is the shortcut key for the property. Fine. And uh, the control which has been validated over here, namely text box 4, and the control which has been validated for this particular validation control is the text box 5. So now text box 4 and text box 5 the text must be provided because we had implemented a required field validator. So user cannot submit the form without entering the password and without re-entering the password. Now what I am expecting, I am expecting password and re-enter password must be same. That's the reason here I am coming with the another control. Once again the same one which we had tried with the family income that is termed as compare validator. So now, in the compare validator, what I am mentioning, control to validate is text box 5 and control to compare is text box 4. Further, the error message has been displayed by me as must be same. Must be same means password and re-enter password must be same. So here I am providing password and re-enter password must be same. Now, if you want, it is better as you had implemented multiple validation control, just make this particular required uh, validator display as dynamic. What is static and dynamic? You can see in my last video about the difference between the static and dynamic display. So, now everything has been set. Once again, I will check important properties, control to validate, control to compare, error message, as well as operator, I would like to do the equality check. So the operator need to be equal and both are strings. So the type is also string. So I have not made any changes over here. Now the task has been completed. I try to go for executing the page. Let's try to focus whether the compare writer works in a proper way or not. So I'm entering the name over here. So name has been entered. The age is also been entered properly. The income is also been mentioned properly. Password has been accepted by me as ABCD over here and re-enter password and made it BBCD you will find the sign up says password and re-enter password must be same and if I am trying to provide the appropriate password in both side then you will find registration is successful. So this is the way by which you can implement the compare validator. So in this 
last video and this current video we had seen required field validator we had seen range validator and on this video we had seen the compare validator as well as in the first video itself we had started working with the validation summary now in the next video we will try to work with the regular expression validator so be tuned with us and uh, subscribe karo like karo chalo let's see with the next video now